And you are welcome. Now it's time for entertainment gist. Uh, today, we have someone very special. You might know her, might have heard her before. Her name is Oyechi Ekunkama. She's an OAP, she's a, an entertainment enthusiast. She's everything and she's beautiful too. You are welcome. It's been a while since the last time we saw it. It has, so. it has. And look at us matching. I know, colors. right? Like we came to the same place, but hey, it's all good. Good Thank to have you here. Thank you so much for we having me. We have very me. interesting stories mm -hmm. that you guys can share from. It's very interesting. Let's get on it already. Now, let's talk about Fireboy DML. Now, he's come through with yet another new hot hit uh, titled Bandana. Mm -hmm. By the way, I've been raving to that one. The new music also has a rave of the music, Ashake, who added a new vibe to the mm -hmm. new song. Now, this is an awesome song that you should actually have on your playlist. If you don't, I don't know why you haven't had it yet. But let's take a little listen and we'll be back to talk about it again. Hey. I'm sorry if they caught me dancing there because I actually have this on my playlist. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. is the bomb. It is. I think it's a very, very unique track. But let me let you talk because I have something to say about this track. I can't All right. I hope I don't say what you have no, to say. No, go ahead. You're free. But, um, I mean, it's definitely a really, really good good song. Good video, because the song came out earlier. The video just came out. And, I mean, when we look at the two individuals on the track, so we have Fireboy and we have Boy. Ashake. Yeah. And for some reason, since Ashake started dropping singles since January, he's been on a roll. I mean, he hasn't offended his listeners. He hasn't offended his fans. Not Every, yet. Not yet. <laughs> you know, um, everyone just loves to hear from him. I even saw a comment on one of the, on this particular video on YouTube saying, well, I think it was Terminator, saying, is Ashake owing somebody money because these bangers back to back is I too mean, much. I've got to make You it. know, and then you have Fireboy, who since he came on the scene too, has been doing really good. And, you know, the game changed for him last year because he started getting international certifications, you know, yeah. with Ed Sheeran featuring on Peru. And, you know, having these two people come together, I mean, it's something people are looking for to and the common denominator between the both of them yes. is Olami Day because you know he YBNL, signed them both yes, and exactly. they are both signed to YBNL oh. and then looking at the video itself you know it's people love to see Ashake videos because he's a visual artist let's talk about that yes. that's 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 exactly what I wanted to talk oh, about fantastic. how visual it is mm -hmm. and what exactly it's doing because you hear the music once you hear Ashake you hear it's always very nice it's got mm -hmm. that feel mm -hmm. where everybody sings along mm -hmm. to and everything and then you now see the videos they have You're one like... element in them that I can't yet put my finger on but what exactly do you think it is? So I, I don't have a word for the element, but his videos are very visually appealing. Mm -hmm. They're different. They're, some, they're things you want to keep looking at. In fact, so much so that I'm sure you've seen on social media, TikTok, Reels and whatnot, people are do, doing parodies to Ashake's yeah, part yeah, exactly. of that particular <laughs> and what's it video. And the Challenge? Oh, I didn't even know You're it had, it had a title. Really? No problem. <laughs> I'm down. We should definitely do one. But yeah, there's something visually appealing about his videos. I don't know. He's a visual artist, yeah. I hear. Now, MM really here, who's well. also a host here on Wake Up Night, mm -hmm. said there's something hidden inside of those videos that perhaps ah. maybe it's some, I don't know, she had this conspiracy about it. But there's something that draws you in. Yes. It's either in the mass of people that he always has inside mm -hmm. of the videos or the um, downward looking cameras. That's, everything I think there's is, just definitely gives this very beautiful yeah. mix. And you know the funny thing? Mm -hmm. Apart from the last video, Terminator, it's not all about um, objectifying women. Apart from Terminator. And that's one thing I like about his mm -hmm. videos. And I think, if you ask me, and I don't know if you agree, Ashake is evolving Nigerian music. Oh, yes, he is. Definitely. Uh, everybody wants to do what he's doing. Mm -hmm. He didn't start it out, perhaps. I mean, I think it was Fireboy. No, sorry. Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, Finesse. Okay. Um, Buju. Buju and, yeah. Finesse, you know, they started that. Mm -hmm. uh, um, and I think everybody's jumped on that train. On, on that. that train. And they're doing the same thing. And music is changing from the Afrobeat we know it as. It's no longer that beat we know it mm -hmm, as it's mm -hmm. a different kind of different beat. type of and i don't know if anybody agrees with me but that's what i see happening mm. we need a new name for it is what i'm saying yeah, we need that's terminator name. by the way it is absolutely fantastic i think i think i know what it is mm -hmm. it's the camera angles they're never that way they're always that way or Downward that way or that it's way fantastic very very, very good kaleidoscopic Whatever he's done, he's hacked it. Yeah, he's, ha he's hacked it. He's Whatever hacked he's it. Done. Right now, let's move on. Man of the moment right now, the guy, the one, the one and only rapper and music executive, Emma Abaga, has dropped his seventh studio album. I'm not too excited about this, but the guy, he unveiled this album, uh, the track list of social media. It's a 12-track album, including features by both international and national artists. It's got Nas on it, Olamide, Duncan Mighty, mm -hmm. Fino, The Caveman, Wande Cole, Benson, and also Tammy, uh, um, Lord Vino, and host of other people, including Jesse Jags. Now, MI first teased this in 2022 in July, revealing that he would be retiring uh, the, from the stage. But Mr. Incredible, I have so much that I want to talk about this album. Have you heard it, Onyechi? Um, I haven't heard all the tracks on the album, but I've definitely heard some, and I've heard about 
to the album. I've seen it top um, some of our Nigerian album charts, mm -hmm. and, and it's doing well on the singles charts as well. Okay. Um, and I, I mean, we haven't heard from Emma in a minute, in a right? Bit, it's, yes. it's been a while, so we're excited to hear his new work. We're excited to hear from him. And Emma, like, I mean, I get Ashake and uh, Fireboy. Mm -hmm really has not had any flops. I mean, mm. you might not like mm. M.I. A person might not mm. like him, but you mm. cannot deny that M.I. is good mm. at what he does. M.I. is a lyrical genius. I agree with you. You do. M.I. is a lyrical genius. My sense of bots coming. Nope, no bots. <laughs> However, <laughs> nice I'll tell you this. I think one of the biggest and best albums mm -hmm. of all time, and I mean from any artist, Nigerian artist who's a rapper, was the Chairman album. Okay. The Chairman album is very iconic. It has mm -hmm. some hidden meanings. Even in the way the songs are arranged, mm -hmm. it's very beautiful. On one side, you have a theme, and then on the other, a totally different theme. The features on that album were fantastic. He managed to get everybody from the moments that was making a contemporary effort, and that was fantastic. Mm -hmm. However, The Guy, like you said, is an album we are excited to hear because we have not heard from M.I. in a bit. So that initial fervor you're hearing is us like, it's an M.I. album, let's go listen. Mm -hmm. But will it last? Will mm -hmm. it stand the test of time like uh, Chairman did? He released Denzel right after um, mm -hmm. Chairman. Mm -hmm. It was a bit too chronic for me, a bit too, if you ask me, and this is me being an MI fan, and I am an MI fan. I love the guy to bits next to Eminem. It's going to be MI for me. Um, but I'm not feeling the guy, mm. this current album. I think there's something lacking. I don't know what it is, but it's either in production or in mm. the lyrics mm. or in the rap. It's not the same MI. Mm. And I'm sure a lot of people out there, after listening a third time to the entire album, you will agree with me. I mean, what do you think? You've spoken like a true MI fan. You don't sound like a hater or someone who's just downgrading his work. I mean, you've mentioned that you love him to bits, and it sounds like you've taken your time to actually intentionally go through each song mm -hmm. on the album, and you've come up with your your conclusion. conclusion. Let's say your thesis, which which I mean, we definitely will not discredit. Um, but I think a good strategy that he used is, you know, the heavy lifters on this album. Mm. So I mean, we have Nas, we have Olamide, and there's a particular track that has Nas and Olamide yes. on that and I'm like what kind of destruction is this in a good way of course you know and then there's Buju you've mentioned Fino mm -hmm. so I think he definitely I mean that thing might be missing you know, mm -hmm. based on you know your own musical genius and what you've gotten from it but I think he definitely did, did a good a good thing there it's, I mean uh, I'm not downplaying it yeah. I just think that it wasn't what I was expecting I was expecting something that was going to hit me in the guts make me double what over what if the hype was too much before Perhaps. it came out so that you know expectations were Perhaps. Overly placed. And Music is well. changing. I think he should change along with it. You know, that's what I think. Mm -hmm. But we've got one more story. Yeah. Glad that you guys are still here. Controversial singer Portable has been added to his, uh, you know, awards. Um, he's, he's been given a chieftaincy title. He, he, he was uh, coronated with a chieftaincy title in a town in Ogun State. Now, the Zazu Kruna became the uh, Amuludun of Tigbo, a woody land. And he shared videos of the traditional ceremony on his social media handle now recently he actually that's the video there oh wow would you look at those ta i mean people um he's very excited apparently but i i i recently he he got uh what's the word what's the thing with the the hip-hop world award awards the headies yeah the headies but rather he was disqualified, it was disqualified yeah. recently and this was based on his bad behavior mm. um now, I find it very hard to reconcile here that he is being awarded a chieftaincy title from a people, a people or a culture that's supposed to be custodian of morality. Mm -hmm. That's a question for me, and I'm posing that out to anybody mm -hmm. or even you. Tell us, what do you think? I mean, I definitely um, share the same sentiments with you, and I'm trying to be nice, but the word has come into Don't be nice, <laughs> Do it. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, there what are the go. bases in which people are giving, being given chieftaincy titles these days? I feel like it waters down that, yeah. what is supposed to be an honor. I mean, someone who is awarded something like that ought to have done something of impact to that community. I mm -hmm. mean, yes, he's from Ogun State, but how has he um, impacted, impacted the people of Ogun State? How has he gone out to represent them in a certain way? This is someone who, you know, was trending on social media for being in trouble, who was disqualified from, you know, the mm -hmm. Hedy's Award Multiple because of bad times, behavior. I mean, everything. And I mean, what has he really done, mm -hmm. to be honest? And it just, for me, it just waters down the, the 
what 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 worth the honor of that, that yeah. worth of the, the chief tnt title mm -hmm. and it's like what honestly what basis are you giving him this on we we don't even know and it, to me it doesn't make sense i think it's highly unnecessary very very wrong move from the people of you know mm -hmm. that city in ogun state mm -hmm. and i'm definitely not impressed wow oh yeah, <laughs> you are a fantastic analyst when it comes to Thank entertainment why don't we have you on often we should just call me we, oh, we like, will be have calling. your have your people call my people and, absolutely you know, oh.